Hello and welcome back to another episode of White Details. It's been a while. In this episode, a flat white Porsche Turbo S receives a two-stage paint correction detail with Modesta BCO4 ceramic paint protection, BCO6 for the rims and calipers. The wheels are machine polished, factory PPF sections down the rear quarters are replaced and the Turbo S badge on the tailgate is replaced also. That and a whole lot more coming up in this episode of White Details. Although the center lock wheels will be coming off at a later stage once the vehicle is safely up onto the ramp, the vehicle is jacked up slightly just to allow some clearance and access to be able to flush the wheel arches somewhat. And then the next five minutes or so is the full wash process, the safe wash, decontamination, removal of tar deposits and then once inside, the clay bar decontamination, removing pinheads of contaminants that are bonded to the flat white paint. And that's one of the main things about white. A lot of the dirt and the contaminants on a darker colour, you'll never get a chance to see. So quite an important step, all this before we start polishing later on.
we're inside now, we're clean, decontaminated. The clay bar took a bit of time. Let's see, one of the negative things about light colored cars is you think, oh, it's easy, easy peasy for detailing and machine polishing, um, which actually going forward is probably not going to be, which I'll come on to. But also the decontamination, there's just dozens, if not hundreds of tiny pinheads of contaminants that is difficult to see on any other color than a pure white, so over and above on the decon stage. And as I said at the top of this episode, this is a clean car and it's actually very difficult to photograph or video the defects. So usually on a regular vlog, I pick up the camera, sort of assess the whole thing. Um, but what I think I will do is just crack on and get some vulnerable areas taped up the window trim around the A-frame there, various sections, um, start some corrections, see how the paint responds, then come back to you with the camera. And also, it's not the thickest of paint system. I've got some readings on the lower portions in the 80s, 90 microns, so. That may mean I adjust my system, my approach. Usually we go for the blue microfiber cut pad, Lake Country, but Lake Country also have the orange um, heavy cut, light cut. It might just benefit from a light cut and refine. So we'll do some testing. First of all, as I say, you gotta get that on there. This paint uh, is rock hard. To be predicted, to be expected, I suppose, but it's like nails. And when there's not a great deal of visible defects there to sort of work with and pull out and sort of turn around, it's gonna be a long slog of main square lights being off because there's too much glare and working underneath the spots and the handhelds. So I'm gonna be snow blind. Uh, this is the area I've cut, so there's very little there to see. The camera can't focus because it's flat. Manual focus. Uh, but as you go across this side, you see a bit more here and there, some deep marks. Um, but yeah, it's not a tragedy in the first place. The marks are there, it's just that you can't see them. For example, using the lens, the lighter defects, the swirls, you see on plastic, that's sort of an example of what the rest of the car could be like. It's just a forgiving color to hide and mask. But all said and done, uh, the process is this week, the polishing stages, no, there's not a massive turnaround in terms of before and after, but it is gonna be super sharp and there will be a massive amount of additional clarity to the paint when we get coated. Anyway, rambling.
Walking down the offside, as soon as I got to the rear quarter, it was quite clear and apparent that the old PPF section on the rear quarter is low down for the impact protection for stone chips. You can see it's clearly failed, it's old, it's yellow, it's quite a contrast against the pure polar white bodywork, and really it needs to be replaced. Reaching out to the owner of the car, they were more than happy to go ahead and do so, and I was able to have a pre-cut section, a templated piece two pieces, near side, off side, sent to my address to be fitted. With the old PPF removed, the area around and underneath was cut and corrected and refined and prepped. And the results were pretty fantastic, seamless. Really worth the extra effort. Had we have not replaced this, I think it really would have let the overall appearance of the car down. So with the new PPF sections down, with the exception of the boot lid where the Turbo S badge sits, that is the cutting complete. We can now move on to paint refining and then we'll pick up on the Turbo S debadging process shortly.
a little bit uncertain about this one to begin with in terms of picking up the camera, as I said earlier. Ooh, just half a day into the polish and I was like, ah, you know, really, is this gonna be much of a story? Can I document this in a way that I'd be sort of proud of the transformation? Is there much of a transformation? And actually, I'm glad I did. I can't wait for the owner to see the car. And to the lens, it's different to the eye, but it's up there, it's one of the best. Two stage correction, replacement of the PPF stone guards in the rear quarters, machine polish in the gloss black wheels, coatings, nice and easy. So yeah, an excellent outcome in the end. Pleased, happy, satisfied. Any areas I'd like to have improved? Exhaust tips, they didn't come up too great. They were a little bit too far gone. The surface, the coating has worn already. And other than a courtesy wipe and a vac for the interior, I haven't really touched that. It's clean, it doesn't really need a great deal. And then the engine bay, I haven't done a great deal in there. Over there, replacing some of the screws that attached to the bumper, there was some corrosion and pitting and unsightly screw heads that were being replaced. But yeah, the car's going to a concourse competition in two weeks' time, which the owner didn't tell me until midway through the booking. Not that it changed anything, to be honest. That's all I've got to say. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already to the channel. Find Why Details over on Instagram for daily behind the scenes and updates. Take care and I'll see you next time.